Now here's one you don't want to go go past and just read by it. Keep in mind our three goals. Teaching, learning, and knowing. Always keep them on the back of your mind. Even though we're only talking about teaching today, keep in mind those three things. Because as we go through this, you're going to go from one to the other constantly. You're going to say, well, where's that fit? Then you'll probably figure out here in a little bit, oh, hey, I see that now. Teaching, learning, no. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Ain't got nothing to do with National Geographic. Doesn't have anything to do with somebody that wrote a book down in Louisiana. Doesn't have anything to do with anybody on this entire planet. Amen. Nobody on this whole planet can even come up with anything that is nothing but rags before God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Now the teaching concept, we have to consider this real carefully at what we believe and who we believe and why we believe and it's profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction don't let this get by you here's another little thing if you're not careful it'll go over your head real quick for correction for instruction in righteousness instruction in righteousness that teaching element that says recognizing who you are repenting seeking out the scriptures following the, what the scripture says what we just read a while ago what we just went through a while ago teaching Obey my commandments, all my commandments, seeking out instructions in righteousness, following and obeying all these commandments are directions and stepping stones in teaching instructions in righteousness. Step, step, step. Whoops. You'll miss one if you ain't careful. This is easy to miss. You'll read right over it. That the man of God may be perfect, Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thoroughly furnished doesn't mean haphazard. Being thoroughly furnished is to be totally equipped, Amen. to be totally taught, be totally aware, to be totally capable, and have the spiritual ability through faith to live day to day. Therefore, that teaching element comes really to play there. But it didn't get from there to here without going through these two elements. We'll talk about those later. I'm going to keep you in suspense on that. Romans 10. Let's go over there. 